Malaysia, I mean, obviously it didn't seem like you're very nervous out there. Um, how good did you feel, and where did the behind the back move come from? It looked like you've been doing that for a while, but obviously not in your collegiate day, do I felt great just knowing that we've been prepared for this moment for a long time. But when I did the behind the back move, that's actually like a move that I do like very often in high school. So when I did it, I kind of felt like I was in high school again. So, so, yeah. What goes into executing something like that in a game in sort of that high speed moment, like the way that you do? Like what's going through your head in those moments? Well, I was looking at her and she, I was like re ready for her to like take me, like guard me, but she was looking like she didn't know whether to guard me or guard the people who was running with me. So I was like, all right, this is the time to do it. So when I did it, I seen like the other defender coming up to like try to block it. So I had to do like a little fake to Camilla and I laid it up, but that come with a lot of practice. Like I do that move like a lot in practice. So in the game time, it felt normal. You and Raven were kind of up after the game on the court with T.L. at the end. And from where we were sitting, I guess, what, what were your emotions like, you know, in-game, obviously locked in, but, like, afterward being like, wow, I just played my first collegiate game? I was still, like, I couldn't believe it. Like, dang, I just finished my first high school, I mean, my first college game. It was crazy. I've been waiting to, like, get in college. It feel like forever. So me and Raven, we just was taking it all in. I used to play with Raven in high school. So I felt like me and her, we just both feel where each other coming from as far as, like, succeeding on a college level. Malaysia, also defensively, especially in the second quarter, looked like y'all were rotating, taking turns, guarding Hidalgo. Uh, how well do you know Hannah? And, and you know, were you not nervous at all, but were you anxious to take on that assignment? Um, I know Hannah uh, a good a, a good bit. Like, I feel like she's a great player. I knew that before the game. I actually uh, roomed with her when I was played at McDonald's All-American. So I know she's a great person, but when I had to guard her, I just felt like we just needed the ball, do whatever I had to do to get stops for my team. Kind of sticking with Raven and also with uh, Tahima there for a little bit. What's that kind of two and three card lineup like for you and kind of the speed y'all are able to play at? How, what does that kind of feel like on, in, in game? Um, I think we all just go out there and just kill. I feel like we all have the same mindset. We all be on the same page. So I feel like once we get on the court, it makes it easier to open up things for not only us, but the post. So I feel like we do a good job with just being ready to attack and just feeding off of each other, playing with each other. Matt in the back. Malaysia, um, what has this experience just been like for you and your teammates? It's kind of the start of a new era for the Gamecocks. What has this done for the camaraderie of this team to start the season? It's done a lot. I feel like me and my team, we all know that like we got a whole lot of people doubting us and a whole lot of people supporting us. So I feel like we don't get too high with the highs and too low with the lows. We do what we're supposed to do in practice, off the court, and everything just seems to play out good for us on the court. I spoke to you the first day when you guys first got off the bus and you said, I can't believe we're in Paris. Now that it's kind of coming to an end, do you have a standout moment? I know today's pretty tough to beat, but. I think it's really just going on the Alpha Tower, uh, Alpha Tower with our team, and that was a great moment, just a great experience. I've seen it on TV, but like just to see everything that I'm experiencing in person, it's just unbelievable experience. Has anyone shown you the tweets from Magic Johnson and Kevin Durant? <laughs> yes, I was uh, actually taking out the ball during the game, and the fan was like, uh, Katie just reposted you, no cap. And I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was like, all right, so she's not she's not playing. He definitely did it. But Adam, I was excited. Ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, did you look over? Did anybody told you about Coach's reaction to that kind of side pass? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I just I be zoned out. I just be focused on the game, like, during the game. <laughs> All right, we're going to go with Zoom, Rick, and then Alex. Alex. All right, thank you. Malaysia, congratulations on a great start to your college career. Thank you, thank you. You're going against a uh, top 10 team today, and you looked as comfortable as you did at Keenan High School and able to do the stuff that you've been doing since seventh grade. Are you surprised that it was coming that easy to you? Well, it's not as easy as it looks on TV, but um, I wasn't surprised at all. I mean, I've been practicing hard for this moment, so I feel like all the mistakes I did in practice, it just helped me out in the game. So I felt pretty comfortable. Alex, go Alex, ahead and then chat. Hi, Malaysia. Alex Hassey with The Messenger. Um, Hello. Um, I just want people to know that I'm a player who's going to play to the end of the clock goes off. I feel like people don't know that I can actually do. I'm actually good on defense, so I feel like they should like know that. Like <laughs> I work hard on defense just as well as I work hard on offense. But I feel like that move made everybody notice me, and I hope that they keep watching. Chaz, go Chaz, ahead. Go ahead.
I feel like it it helped us like realize that we executed what we did in practice, but I also feel like we're also telling each other that we can't get too happy because it's just game one. So I feel like we're just ready to get back home and get back to work and just get ready for our next game, which is Sunday. All right. Thank you, my legend. Thank you. Back to the locker room. All right. We'll take See you. Yeah. Questions All right. on the room for yeah. Coach first. Don, um, you had a few of those in back in college. I'm not getting to a comparison. Have you ever had anything like that or seen a freshman do that? Um, I, I, I don't have the gall, nor have I ever had the gall to do um, like, like multiple moves. I, I was either like a straight behind the back pass to add two and three and four moves to an action was, was pretty impressive. And to, to allow the receiver to know it's coming and then and then make her job easy. I mean, it's, she, she's pretty special. I, I said she's a generational talent, and that's what I meant. You know, a lot of people may, may think that um, the definition of a generational talent is something else, or, or you can only say it to, you know, really special players. She, she's special, like she is special. Um, the way that she approaches um, both sides of the basketball, she is a really good defender. We got to get her being a little bit more disciplined along with what she already does just naturally um and she wants to be better so that's the you know the thirst to want to be better if you know really good players like her are like that they're only gonna they're only gonna they're only gonna get better and i look forward that to, to, to the future that she'll have with us this year and and beyond alan and then emily I asked Lynn about it. Can you kind of take us through your reaction to that side pass to Tahina and kind of lay through your hands of what was going through your mind there? I mean, you, you can't help but to feel that. Like, as a basketball enthusiast, you, you can't help but to feel it in the moment because there's, there's not a lot of, like, any players that could do that. I'm not talking about females. We're talking male, females, whoever else wants to pick up a basketball cannot do that, doesn't have the vision to do it doesn't have the skill set to do it, um, for her to, to have all of it and to make someone, someone else's job easier, just to, you know, if, I'm, if I'm a big, if I'm a guard, I'm gonna always have my hands ready because she's really, really unselfish. Um, she can score a lot of points and she did that in high school, but she's super, she makes the right play at the right time. And it doesn't mean like, you know, I mean, she'll turn it over a few times, but I think, it's all in an effort to, to make a good basketball play. So it was pretty impressive. Emily, Matt, and then Peyton. So I mean, to come up here with you know, a, a very young, all new roster and hang 100 points on the number 10 team in the country, just what does that do for your confidence at having this be the opener? Um, I'm, I'm happy for our team. Like our team, you know, from, from the summer, like in June, July, when we first got together, so now, I, I really couldn't foresee it, and maybe I'm too close to the situation to see it, but they've really worked extremely hard for each other, um, and this is what happens. Like, the, the ball sharing was, was incredible. Um, like, I think all of our players can shoot the ball, so for them to give up a good shot for a better shot time and time again is a great quality. For us to be able to rotate Defensively, I know we had some lapses, but for us to be able to do that at a, you know, at the, in the first game of the season, I, I know we can get better at those things. Um, and I know they're, they're all aren't going to be like this. There aren't going to be 30 point um, victories, um, but we, we grew. We grew from the good and the bad of this game. Matt and then Peyton. Going off of that, this is the first day of the new season. What do you think your team showed the rest of the country tonight? Um, I mean, I mean, it's, it's one game one, but it was a game in which um, our team showed a lot of character on both sides of the basketball. Like, we got players who could score 30 points easily. You know, Pow Pow sitting here, easy. She did that easy. And she probably could have done it today, you know, if she didn't give up some of her, her opportunities to score for someone else. Um, I hope people saw that. Like we shared the basketball. I hope people saw that we get out and we play fast. And we all hope people saw that we can execute in the half court. And I hope people saw that we are able to defend and 
rotate and communicate out there on the floor. And I hope people saw the mistakes that we made when we had some lapses. Um, but overall, I think this team is going to continue to play for each other. And I, I do think that's a quality that will be a mainstay for us for the rest of the season. And I just, this is an example of what, what that looks like. The guards obviously had a great night tonight, but Camilla also appreciates sure had career highs in points and rebounds. What can you say about her performance tonight? I mean, Camilla's our dominant post. She's our dominant big. Um, she's a great target in there, um, and she delivered. I mean, she actually missed a lot of layups in the first half, and then she corrected that. Um, I thought Ray and Powell and Malaysia, they they did a great job of finding her where um, she was she was only single covered. That that is what they did, and you know, you know, time and time again. Um, so I'm, I'm proud of Camilla because Camilla has worked for this. Like, you know, if she doesn't come out and perform the way that she that she did, she might think that the work that she put in, the practice times that she put in, aren't worth it. But now we got we got we got some um, ammunition to give her because uh, we want more. I mean, she's better than not nine for fourteen. Like. I think she could have made probably four more, at least four more baskets. Um, so we'll give her some, we'll give her some uh, grace today. But we, we want all the buckets that she can get. I'm gonna actually go. I'm gonna go to the gym real quick. We're gonna go to Rick and then Alex. Hey Don, congratulations on the win. Thanks, Rick. Um, they do, but I mean that's what that's what happens in practice. Like you know, Lay tries those passes in practice. She, she doesn't always complete them, um, but they're learning. You know, the, and they'll continue to learn. This isn't just this isn't it. We're continuing um, to to learn about each other, how we like the basketball, what works for us, what doesn't work for us. Um, I know the, the the five that were in the game at the end. They they got some work to do. We got, we gotta we gotta clean up some of the stuff that happened out there. We gotta clean up some stuff that happened, you know, in the first quarter through the fourth quarter. Um, so I'm looking forward to those challenges of figuring out how we can put together um, a, a game in which everybody feels like they they they've had a great game. Alex and then Chaz. Well, I mean, it, it's not hard to see that she's a talent. I mean, she's got incredible athleticism. She's quick. Um, she can shoot the basketball. She can. She's a three-level scorer. Um, she's very, very unselfish. She's been this way for as long as we've known her. Um, I'm happy that she chose to stay home and, you know, and, and, and grace us with, you know, her, her talent. Um, and then to see her come out and play like she did today. And we... <laughs> We often talk about her being a gamer, um, and it seems to be it seems to be true that she is a gamer because if we had to go by her practice yesterday, and she's you know she'll tell you she didn't have a good day. Like she's really really honest with herself, um, but game days seem to bring out the best in her, and I hope I hope that continues. But I also hope that you know from a practice standpoint, she creates some some great practice habits. Chaz, go ahead. Chaz, go ahead. I didn't vision anything. It was really a blank canvas. I told our team this. I said, we're going to be who the, the habits we've displayed from June until now. I said, we've, we practice well at times. I said, we, we, we not practice well at times. And I said, you're going to see a little bit of all of that in this game. And I was just so happy that um, our execution was at a really, really high rate, you know, compared to some of the lapses that we had. Um, so it gives us something to, to, to go on, 
and to grow on and to continue to learn from uh, from from the things that we haven't and also just bottle up some of the things that that we that we did well the sharing of the basketball i mean the assist like like the connection on with the players that are that are building the chemistry that they're building you know is uh is pretty special all right thank you right, everyone thank you, everyone. Thank you.